Welcome to this week's episode of the We Believe series on the People Chronicles. I'm Alexi Posner from the Reading Royals, joined by Kevin Steele. Kevin, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. So, Kevin, you're the president of a pretty awesome organization. Tell me a little bit about it. Yes, I'm the president of the Burke Schuylkill Oil Heat Association. I've been president since 2008. Uh, the prior president had resigned and I was the vice president at the time, so I took over his duties. And uh, we are an organization made up of local, independently owned family mostly family businesses um, from around the Berks and Schuylkill County area that service uh, home heating oil customers. And you guys have been involved with the Royals for a long time. I think we were racking our brains about 10 years. About 10 years, I want to say, yes. I think 2006, seven, right in that time frame is when we started. So talk to me a little bit about this relationship because I know it's evolved and you guys have sponsored different things and been involved in different as uh, aspects of our uh, organization. Talk to me a little bit about it. Absolutely. We've been involved with the Royals and we've done different things over the period of the years. We've done, uh, you know, uh, signage at the arena. We've also been involved with the penalty kill. Now we're involved with the penalty box. <laughs> Uh, we did the alumni game this year. Uh, we do a hospitality night for our members uh, every year as well, and it, it's worked out great. It works out well for us because we're oil heat dealers, so we're busy in the wintertime. Hockey is a winter sport. People are thinking about heating their homes at that point in time, so it, it just works out great for us. Perfect partnership. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> absolutely. So favorite thing you guys have been involved with? I think the alumni game took the cake this year. Uh, that was a really great event, and Mark... Uh, actually uh, called me up about it and we are kind of limited by our funding i don't want to get into all the yeah. details about how our funding works but uh, we were able to get the funds together to do that event it worked out really really good and i hope that's something that the royals continue and we will definitely continue to be a part of it it was a great event you guys had a prime spot too yes, you were <laughs> right down at the bottom of section 109 and with the customers as well were down there with you we right had, we had customers with and members with we had a whole we had a pretty mixed group with us that night and and it was a great experience uh, the younger kids, I don't think, appreciated all the alumni guys, but a lot of our older members and, and people of my age who grew up during the generation of the Broad Street Bullies and in the 80s of the good, the good Flyers teams, uh, it was really a great event to see those guys and to get to meet them up close and personal. Did you have a favorite one that you got to meet? Actually, yes. Um, Kimo Timonen. I talked to Kimo Timonen probably for about 20 minutes, just him and I one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, cool. And he was a great guy. We actually had something in common that we were able to talk about uh, with his story with blood clots. Um, I have a friend who's in the Zeralto commercial, um, and Kimo was supposed to star in that commercial with him and wound up getting bumped for Chris Bosch. So oh, him and wild. I stood there and talked about blood clots about his family story with it oh, wow. and we probably stood there for about 20 minutes like i said he was a great guy it was really neat to meet him it's so cool that alumni game uh exactly like you're saying i loved it it gave fans and our sponsors and our partners awesome access to these incredible guys and they Absolutely. were just as stoked to be there as i think all the fans were they I, were awesome it was really neat to see how down to earth they were because uh I think you get some professional athletes that may have a little bit of a reputation that mm -hmm. precedes them. And then you, you had those guys that were so down to earth and just so easy to talk to. And it was, it was really cool. And it was great to see the arena, you know, sold out and all the flyers colors, the orange and black Wild. and the purple there for the Royals. It was, it was a great event. So with all of your involvement over the last 10 years, what originally made you your company? Why do you still keep coming back to us? Like, <laughs> I know Mark Wallace is great, but what, what makes you want to keep coming back to the Royals? Uh, well, I think a lot of it has to do with, uh, we do a lot with, uh, with the other team in town, with the, with the Reading Fight and Phil's. And we've always done stuff with them and then the involvement with the Royals, like I said, the, the time of year and it just works to our customer base and it keeps top of mind awareness mm -hmm. of the association and of the association members. And it just works great. It works hand in hand. Well, we love having you guys as one of our partners. You. I, um, you know, something the Royals really pride ourselves in is being involved in the community and many different um, attributes of the community. And, and one thing I think you guys have done an incredible job with is all of the your community events, all of your charitable work. Can you tell me a little bit about the things that you guys are out, out doing? Absolutely. One of our big... Uh fundraisers every year is for the Salvation Army and we raise funds all internally from the from our members and our associate members and we've done that now I have records going back to 2006 ironically the same year we started with the Royals wow. uh, and we've raised in that time frame over fifty thousand dollars that goes directly to uh, use for the heating needs of the less fortunate and help the Salvation Army out that's so incredible it, it works out it's a it's a great fundraiser 
and the Salvation Army is so appreciative of it every year and they split the funds between uh, the Schuylkill County Corps and the Berks County Corps. Um, obviously our association represents both areas so it works. So if people wanted to get more information on, on the work that you guys are doing, how could somebody find that they out? They can go to our website, which is bsoha.org, okay. um, and all of our association, our members are listed on there. Uh, the charitable work that we do at the Salvation Army and some benefits about the oil, heat, and the industry as a whole. Nice. So you're yes. a big Flyers fan. I gotta get I gotta get fan. into the fun stuff here because <laughs> okay. I know you're a huge Flyers fan yes. of our guys that we have on the current team. Anybody that you think uh, we might. Any like hope for the Flyers in the future? I like Adam Comrie. I okay. really do. And I think he does have a chance to, to go to the next level, and I certainly hope he does. It's great to see. I think the Royals um, should promote some of their, more of their guys that have gone um, in the past couple of years that have made the NHL. I don't think the community knows enough about those guys. I mean, obviously Jonathan Quick. Right. I mean, Venenzi Trophy winner. I mean, a huge star of the NHL. And, and uh, the, great to see those guys, just like the, the team across town, uh, just like you do with the Phillies, see those guys advance to the next level. It's, uh, hopefully Adam makes it. We're definitely keeping our fingers crossed for him and, and the rest of the guys that we have on the team. So I think people don't really realize how accessible, though, these players are when they're here. So that's why Absolutely. we're like, come on out, come meet them now when you can. We have a uh, golf tournament that we do every year as a fundraiser for our association. And we've always invited Royals guys to come play. And in the past, I've gotten to play with Ryan Carruthers and Sean Wiles. And they were great guys. Uh, they were so down to earth. And we got to play with Wallace, too. which that's <laughs> <laughs> Always a good time. <laughs> yes, absolutely. He's a, he's a great guy. To pick on I'm sure that I'm <laughs> sure the players appreciated getting to come out and play golf with you. They I, really did. They love being involved in the community, and so many people don't realize how um, how much they want to get to know people in Reading and the com and Absolutely. the how accessible they are too. It's it's really great to be a fan or to be a sponsor as we are, and just be able to go up and talk to them about different things. They're really down to earth. Well, I love hearing that, especially as the one that has to deal with them every day. I love hearing <laughs> that that's what they're that's how they're acting. Um, so if somebody did, you know, was just thinking about getting involved with the Royals. You know, maybe it's a smaller business, thinking about a new partnership with us. What would you tell them with being such a long-standing partner? Well, I, th I think the Royals have a lot of opportunities for different sizes of business, from small to the very large. Mm -hmm. um, and I think they're the, the Mark and yourself can certainly find a way to meet the needs of them. And they do so much in the community and are so involved in the games, get so much publicity. And I think there's a lot of opportunity for a business to grow through the Reading Royals. I, thank you. That's a great, <laughs> perfect. That's a, <laughs> well, that's wonderful to hear. And I know we've absolutely loved getting to work with you guys absolutely. over the years. And the alumni game was one to absolutely remember. Fingers crossed we can bring it back again for this upcoming <laughs> year. Favorite other thing we did this year? Uh, made playoffs. That's always good. That always helps, uh, that always helps uh, the community out and get some recognition for the Royals, which is well-deserved. Did you make it out to any of our playoff I games? I was at two of them, I believe I was able to get to. So that is... Uh, that's uh, it's always great when we get members out and get uh, you know uh, customers out and family and friends. It's it's always a great event. Well, thank you so much, Kevin, for being here. Thank you for having Definitely me. Definitely check out all the wonderful things that Kevin and his fantastic organization are doing, and head on over to the Royals website if you want any more information on getting involved with us. RoyalsHockey.com. Give us a call. I'd love to chat with you. Six one zero eight nine eight Puck. We'll see you next time. And if you have any questions, concerns, or need to buy any tickets, please call us at six one zero. 898-PUCK. Thanks again.